Um, okay, come on, let's do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know, guys, the way this whole thing happened last night, one minute, I was watching the show, I was listening to the conversation between Gashwan and Yoli, which wasn't a lot, of course. I mean, it was just literally two chit chat bedtime talk. And then before I knew it, it felt as though I was witnessing a breathing competition. Yeah, exhaling, inhaling. <sighs> And then it was coming with some modulated sounds like uh, and then it was coming with some you know down sliding sounds like uh, I, I said wait, 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 wait. hold up a second what the hell is going on i mean these two people were doing daddy and mommy stuff beneath the shits right in front of moi Yo, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the tea. And guys, hey, hey, the tea of this video is really hot. Very, very hot and spicy. I hope you're ready for this one. Anyways, I will be sharing with you all the details of how it went down. Yeah, between Gashwan and Gioli last night. These two people, these two adults who's been crushing on each other since week two, guys, they literally broke the internet last night. It wasn't even, it wasn't even funny at all. These three people, oh Lord, let's just start. So last night, after all other housemates have gone to bed, Gashwan was in Yoli's bed and then they were just having some little, little bedtime chit chat, just talking and it felt as though Yoli was already getting horny. Gashwan as well was getting horny, but Yoli was actually really, really already under the influence of whatever that emotion was going on there you know that tension was going on there and Gashwan started teasing her that what's on your mind you're a very naughty girl what are you thinking and Yoli is playing back like um no nah, I'm not thinking about anything and before we knew it before we knew it Gashwan's hand had slid inside the sheets yeah he had put it under the duvet and before we knew it he was getting busy. For a bit, they were silent. And lo and behold, the sounds started coming up. They, you know, <laughs> guys, this is very awkward. I, oh my God, it's so weird that I'm trying so hard to describe this, but it started with a gradual process. It only took a few seconds for it to click in my head that, oh my God, this is what's actually happening. Guys, Gashwan was intensely fingering. Yoli and she was enjoying it she was loving it and it did not stop all of a sudden he continued and Yoli could not obviously contain the ecstasy that she was feeling and so she decided to express it you know with the breathing marathon I spoke about at the beginning of this video now for a moment they stopped I mean, Yoli was obviously having the time of her life in that house. At that moment, that moment was obviously very, very priceless. She was having so much fun. But then, <laughs> Gashwan started again. And it continued for a while, guys. And that was when the breathing became more intense, guys. They went at this for, for a while, at least for a while. And then when they were now finally done, I don't know if Yuli had an orgasm. I don't know if she had a climax, guys, but it seemed as though she did have it. Yes, so with satisfaction, she laid back on the bed and then she relaxed. Oh my God, guys, I can't even believe I'm literally describing this. <laughs> Anyways, I'm a storyteller, so what the hell do you expect? I mean, sit down and enjoy the gist, Jerry. As I was saying, Yuli was having so much fun. She relaxed, of course, probably she had had a climax and they continued their chit chat conversation and that was when Yuli opened up to Gashwan saying that oh my god that she just hopes that this female jealousy thing doesn't arise in the house now Gashwan did not understand where she was coming from and so he playfully got upset and got off the bed to go to the bathroom to wash his hands because of course his hands have been really really busy and his hands are soaked already 
It was by the time that Gashwan stood up that I saw it. I saw the thing. The thing was awake, wide awake, and very, very, very attentive. I'm like, what in the world? What in the world? But, 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 but listen, guys, listen, guys, listen. Gashon went to wash his hands. Um, Yuri also went to wash her hands. They both went back to their separate beds. They spent the night happily ever after, having the best night's sleep they've ever had in Biggie's house, of course, because they slept with satisfaction. But listen, what you saw, yeah, what you saw, there's a lot more to it. There's a story, there's a history behind Gashwan and Yoli's journey towards getting to that point. And I'm gonna be telling you about it right now. Now, if you cast your mind back to the week two of the show, yeah? In week two, Gashwan was up for nomination for possible eviction again for the second time. In week one, it was her, which was a fake eviction, right? Now, in week two, there was an actual nomination and Gashwan was up. So that made him feel really miserable. It made him feel like, what am I doing wrong? I mean, we just got into this house. We don't really know each other like that 100% and people are already nominating me twice in a row. So that made him feel really low. He was having a bad time. But then Yoli came to the rescue. Now guys, the Yoli that we are seeing right now, she was kind of more bubbly. She was more neutral. She was more naive. She was more kind of innocent in the game in week one and week two. Yuli was that person that everybody wanted to be around. She had this air of love, you know, the aura that she carries with her is the aura of kindness, the aura of love. It's not like Yoli has actually deviated from being that, but now she's a bit more fierce in the game because her eyes are now opened and clearer, right? She's now wise in the game. So in that week two, she had been the only housemate that had showered Gashwan with so much love and attention. Remember the waltz dance? Gashwan is very, very good at dancing the waltz. So in, in a state of misery, when he feels like just dancing, Yoli was that one female housemate that was always available to dance with him. Sometimes Libo would indulge him and dance with him. You know, Libo and Gashwan, they had a very good relationship as well in that week one and week two. So sometimes um, Yoli would dance with him. And then there was a particular day in the laundry area outside when um, Yoli was doing her laundry and Gashwan was there as well. I can't remember if Gashwan was doing his laundry, but um, he had wanted to dance again. And Yoli had hands up what she was doing and she had indulged him. She had danced with him. And there was this electrifying moment between them. Yeah, they had danced and they, they felt so connected. Yes, they felt so connected. They felt so drawn to each other. Yoli was obviously at that moment really attracted to Gashwan and they almost kissed but then they restricted it to just a hug. Now the hug was so tight that Gashwan refused to let go. In Yoli at that point in time he found comfort, he found solace you know from the cruelty in quotes of the rest of the other housemates from from nominations you know from um, the possibility of being on the chopping block of being evicted that Sunday. So Yoli was really that rock for him all through that week. And it created an imprint in Gashwan's mind. He never forgot about Yoli that soon. Now, I can't remember if it was that same night or if it was the very next night, but that was when the housemates had played the first spin in the bottle game. Yeah, so they had played the first spin in the bottle game and um, the bottle had actually pointed towards Gashwan and Yoli to kiss. Guys, Gashwan had given Yoli a lap dance first, and then the kiss was mad. It was intense. It was very, very erotic and sensual. And it was kind of different from the way Gashwan had actually kissed other housemates whom they had been paired together, you know, in the game to kiss. So from that kiss, it was very obvious that this guy, was smitten by this lady. This guy had more feelings, probably a situational feeling for Yoli, but then he did not pursue it immediately. Not until last week, week four, when he started, you know, playing his game of having conversations with Yoli, telling Yoli, I like you, I'm interested in you, and I would love to know you better outside the house. And then he went ahead and said the same thing to Tato. Now, Tato was the one that now licked up the whole conversation to Yoli and it really hurt Yoli because 
she was also feeling the guy. And you know, it kind of made her feel like, oh, did I come to this house to be rejected? Because she had had a serious crush on BU and BU had not reciprocated, you know, her affections towards him. So she felt really bad that, okay, fine, this is the second time this is happening. And between me and this person, we actually went a bit far to even kissing in a game, you know? So Gashwan had put in a lot of work to convince Yoli that, listen, it is you that I have affections for. I do not like Tato like that. I was only speaking with Tato to play her a strategy that I had cooked up in my head. But that kind of made the thing that was supposed to start growing between Yoli and Gashwan to falter a bit. But then after several tons and tons of conversations, you know, between all of them, Yoli, Gashwan, Norman, Tato, guys, they had had multiple conversations. The air was finally cleared and Norman had finally come out of the closet to um, Tato, telling Tato that, oh, I'm attracted to you, I have a crush on you, I'm feeling you. And Tato was also feeling Norman. So those two automatically had become, you know, they, they, they were out of the equation and that left Gashwan and Yoli to now decide if they really wanted to pursue whatever it is. They are feeling for each other. So they had started taking it one step at a time, you know, from Gashwan serving Yoli a meals, helping her to make a cup of coffee, to Yoli giving um, Gashwan massages, and then Gashwan teasing her about being a bad masseuse, not enjoying the massage, to Gashwan massaging Yoli's legs, you know, to Yoli massaging. Like, they started with massages, very, very innocent massages that now graduated to very sensual adult massages and it was very obvious that these people one day they were going to take it farther than we were seeing and so it finally happened last night and guys to be very frank with you in as much as i'm happy for yoli that she finally found the one person that she can stick with as a lover or a partner in the house i am really looking forward to seeing how the dynamics of that relationship is going to play out because guys to be frank with you even though gashon allowed this side of him to come out last night we also still know for a fact that Gashwan is one of the most strategic housemates. He's one of those housemates that is very, very serious and focused on the two million rands. So the question is, do you think that Gashwan is gonna lose his guard from his strategy that he has been playing so well for the past two weeks to focus on whatever thing he is trying to pursue with Yoli in the house? Go ahead, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on another episode of Frankly Speaking with Glory Elijah. Have an amazing day. Bye.